Good morning, I'm Arby Crispin, and this is Quick Court, the fastest way to justice. We're here today in the case between the Sugar Smash Company and Jimmy Lee Marcus. Jimmy is suing the company for finding a cockroach inside of his cereal box. It was hidden inside the bag. Gross, isn't it? What makes it more suspicious is that there has been legal trouble between the company and Jimmy in the past. Let's see what our Sugar Smash representative has to say. First of all, said representative, I have nothing personal against Jimmy. And I also do not work in the production room, so I would not know about any cockroaches that made their way into the boxes. I'm not saying that there could be cockroaches in other boxes, too. He defended himself by saying that a health inspector did come to inspect the factory. Once, he confessed. I'd say this speech encouraged Jimmy. Or at least it would have if he was here. I wonder where he and his personal attorney Fred are. At the moment, Jimmy was just getting permission to leave school. We're still going to win this case, laughed Jimmy. The box of cereal at the Roshan is already at the courthouse, reminded Fred. And everything else we need is in this briefcase. Let's hurry, they might be starting without us. They went as fast as possible to quick court. Look at this, said Jimmy. It's the graveyard where we first met. Well, so it is, agreed Fred. I really don't remember why I was here anyway. I just remember feeling kind of tired one night. So I took a nap. And then I wake up under a pile of dirt, he groaned. I wonder why, he pondered. Look, cried Jimmy, that headstone has your name on it. Fred was shocked. I'm dead? They must have buried you by mistake. Fred snorted. Well, someone's going to hear from my lawyer. Um, uh, me, he corrected himself. Come on, let's get out of here, he huffed. So they kept going. They were almost to the courthouse when Fred remembered something. Jimmy, where's my briefcase? Oh no, cried Jimmy. We left it back at the graveyard. Oh bother, moaned Fred. I don't want to go back there. Then I'll go, said Jimmy. You just go quick, court and keep everyone busy until I find it and come back. I'll do just that, agreed Fred. Meanwhile, at the courthouse, Please rise, said the bailiff, at last, for the Honorable Judge Susan Triton. What's going on here, shouted Judge Triton. Where is the prosecution? I'm here, Your Honor, said Fred, but my witness is not. In the meantime, he wants to play charades. Hold it, boomed a voice. It was the man from the newspaper. Now, seeing as I am with the local newspaper, I should know one thing. Fred, can I go first? Certainly, my good man, said Fred. Take your time, groaned the judge. This is my last case today anyway.